Hey, this is Pat Moorhead with uh, AMD, and I'm standing here with Ian McNaughton, also from AMD, a senior manager here, and also a gamer. And we have some good news to uh, tell you about today, and also you're going to see me interrogate Ian uh, as well. So, Ian, what are we launching today? Today we're launching three new brand new quad core, Phenom 2 quad cores, and two triple cores. Cool. That's awesome. Now, what's different about these Phenoms that makes them different from the, the previous ones? Well, they support DDR3, which is new. Um, obviously, the frequency performance is better. Um, all around, they're just new products to our lineup. Awesome. So I got a lot of questions, and you know, I'd like to know as well, what is the benefit from going from a DDR2 to a DDR3 uh, platform? The, the, the transition from DDR2 to DDR3 is really about a, tr um, a trade-off of latency and bandwidth. So you get increased bandwidth, but at, at right. the, the cost of more latency. Uh, that'll eventually be fixed like, like it was from DDR1 to DDR2. You pay a, a big price premium right now for that DDR3, and you're going to get a small bump in performance. Okay. Now we're back, uh, we're also launching X3 processors as well, so three cores. So what's the difference between uh, performance between a three core CPU and a two core CPU? You know, it's, it's interesting. When we launched the first triple cores, they were at a lower frequency. Right. Um, today we have, uh, in this PC actually, we have a triple core running at 2.8 gigs. Um, when you look at three cores running at 2.8 gigs, it, there's a substantial performance benefit there because you have that extra core, whether it be for multitasking, for gaming, or any productivity whatsoever. So it's, it's an extra core at a higher frequency over dual core for arguably um, depending on what you compare it to, Pat, right. cheaper than dual cores that are in the market today. So what are some, some hard comparisons, some hard numbers? So when you look at video encoding right now, you're seeing a, a, a twenty anywhere from a 19 to 20% performance improvement over the E8400 um, Core 2 Duo. Okay. That's pretty substantial, and it's actually cheaper at Newegg as of yesterday. That's pretty awesome. So uh, you had talked about motherboard compatibility, sort of between this DDR2 and DDR3. Could you give just a little bit of detail around that? Absolutely. One of the things that we pride ourselves at AMD is a long, long generation of infrastructure support. So you're able to take your new DDR3 processor that if you purchased one today, and you could use it in your AM2 plus motherboard. Right. So there's, there's backwards compatibility, so you don't have to upgrade your entire system. You don't have to go drop $2,000 on a brand new system. Right. You're able to upgrade and there's stages within our infrastructure. Excellent. So. Uh, you're a gamer, oh, yes, sir. right? Uh, what is it that you like the best as a gamer uh, about these new processors and the Dragon platform they fit into? Well, what's interesting is is uh, PR came to me and said and dropped off a triple core, and you can read it in my blog, and said, you know, can you do a, a gaming blog on this? Which I did. So I built this system. I know it's not pretty, but it's 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 built by me, um, and I have uh, I, I took it for a spin. So I, I used Far Cry 2, Crisis. Um, and uh, uh, Quake Wars, and I had a really good experience, but cool. it's really pat about the balanced platform. I had a really good graphics card. Right. Um, I had DDR2 memory to show what that mainstream type system would look like today from a gaming perspective, right. and it was a smooth experience. I had, you know, I was running at some games at 2560 by 1600, no hitches, no problems, and it was a really good experience for what is a mainstream process. That's sweet. And uh, like I always say, I like to play games. I'm not a hardcore gamer like you. I'm more of a video file. And I can't wait to uh, take these puppies for a spin. So uh, where can people get more information about uh, the new processors uh, and the Dragon platform? So at the end of this video, you'll see a link that you can click on to our blogs to get more information, as well as our press release, our website, or if you just Google uh, X3, Phenom X3 720, or any, anything to do with AMD's launch day, you'll be able to get lots of reviews and, uh, and information on our products. Well, excellent. Well, thank you, Ian, uh, allowing me to uh, grill you, interrogate you, uh, all the above. So this is Pat Moorhead and Ian McNaughton from a and signing off. All right, sweet. Are we done? I can totally let it out. I was sucking at it for so long. <laughs> <laughs> so what's, what do you really think of this thing? This thing's awesome. It really is awesome. You should uh, you should take it up to your lab. So where where is this going right afterwards? Uh, it was going to my desk, but I'm thinking you should grab it and take it. I would actually like to do some serious uh, encoding on this bad boy. Awesome.